All right, folks, this is how you bring instruments on discount flights. Bam. So you know in Europe you have all of these uh, sort of discount flights. Well, if you look in the terms and conditions, you're not allowed to take your fucking guitar on it. So what do you do? You buy an extra seat. In this case, it costs about 30 euros per extra seat. We bought three of them, thinking that would be like as much stuff as you can fit on an extra street. We got, we got to uh, security and they told us that we need to tape them all together and that one block of stuff can fit on an extra seat but otherwise we would have to pay for more seats or we would have to check the baggage or anything. So we're here now and we'll see what happens, see if there's any more guff at the border or boarding area. But this is fucking glorious. Look, a violin, acoustic guitar, what, and electric guitar. Priority or, uh, or Do you feel like you're a priority? Did yeah. that whole experience with totally, uh, totally. security totally. make you feel like you're a priority? Yeah, totally. Okay, folks, so just another um, post-flight update about the uh, instruments. Well, basically, yeah, it was Ryanair, and I booked three extra seats, and we ended up going back with uh, three guitars, one bass guitar, one violin, one kick drum, and one set of cymbals, which is a massive amount of instruments, um, especially for the extra seats that we bought, three of them. When we got to security, they said you have to put it. Luckily, we had the duct tape um, that that was, um, you know, ready to just wrap it all up into one. Then we had to carry these incredibly heavy, you know, blocks of instruments to, to the gate. And um, then, then when we got on the flight, immediately I went to the first flight attendant I saw. We all went in the same thing and said, we've got these instruments, what do you want to do with them? And all our seats were scattered around the plane. So seven seats, four people, and four extra item seats scattered around the plane. So we immediately let them get to work to rearrange the people around. Because it's, it, you know, it's stupid that their booking system didn't... I bought all the tickets together, seven of them. They didn't put us together. And so that, that's their fault, I think, because if they put us together, it would have been easier and people wouldn't have had to move their seats. Um, anyways, final note on this subject is when you do this thing with the instruments on the plane, you need to mean business. You need to be professional and you need to stand your ground without being too emotionally argumentative. You know, you throw a bit of a fuss and, you know, state your ground, you know, and just sort of magically you know insist and let them deal with it but don't get angry don't get insult don't be apprehensive and all this stuff just it's the right level of professional and like let's work together to get this done but we really need this to happen and after anybody gives you some help in this please thank them anyways um there was another trick that we used actually um before on the flight um when we were flying there um what we did is we had one member of the band stay with all of the extra instruments um, and this time we had the hard cases checked in the thing and yeah one member of the band um, had all the extra instruments waited in another part of the thing and we went and checked those three instruments and then we went back and uh, just so the people if you have checked baggages and you want to take the extra instruments it's best if you do not show the baggage check counter all your extra instruments so that they can try to make you pay because once you're past security once you're at the gate of the plane they they want to get you on the plane and get you flying and if it's any hassle for them they won't try to charge you anything. But when you go to the check-in counter, you want to actually make sure that they don't see your extra instruments because their job at the check-in counter is to take your money for any excess baggage that you have. So make sure that the first time that they see your instruments or anybody sees it is a security check. And you can just tell security usually only wants to do security purpose checks, but in this case, they stopped us. And um, basically, yeah. And once you get to the gate, you know, just make it happen, be professional, be kind to the people while insisting that your instruments need to go on the plane, especially if you bought extra seats for them. Thanks a lot, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, happy flying with your guitars. And spread the love and happiness of music around the world, and uh, thank the flight attendants for giving you such wonderful help in going and traveling with your music.